So let's start with the register addressing. Register addressing is a data addressing mode and we have already studied that data addressing modes are used to specify the data given by an instruction. In register addressing, the data specified by the instruction is stored in the register. So let's try to look at some of the example instructions that uses register addressing. The first example is of the move instruction and it is move ax, bx. Now you can see that in this example, the move instruction will move the contents of the bx register into the ax register. In doing so, the contents of the bx register will not change, but the contents of the ax register will change. This register is known as the source register and the AX register is actually the destination register. So let's suppose we have the AX register with the value 1, 2, 3, 4, H and we know that AX is a 16-bit register so that's why I've written H here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, H is the contents of the AX register and let's say in the BX register I have 3, 2, 7, 1, H. Now you can see that in this example instruction, the contents, the data is actually stored inside the register. So we are not directly giving the data in this place. So this is known as register addressing. In using the move command, the contents of the BX register will get stored in the AX register and the contents of the BX register remains unchanged. More examples of register addressing can be the add instruction where we will not specify the direct data, we will specify the registers, let's say AL, BL. And we know that AL and BL are basically the lower bits of the AX and BX register. So this instruction will be able to add uh, the contents of AL and BL and store it inside AL. Some more example consists of let's say ZOR instruction which is used to perform the ZOR operation between AX and BX. So this is register addressing. 